in previous video we learned few concepts of chain rule and how to find out the derivative using the chain rule and here I'm again uh, going to discuss about a problem here question is saying find the dy by dx means find the derivative of the function y with respect to x right and here you have actually got the function what exactly the function y it is which is you know a complex function a kind of composite function you know uh, here it is y equals to 4u square minus 3u plus 5 and here u is itself another function 2x square minus 3 so in this place you know uh, if uh, you see sim, uh, like, I mean I mean different different books if you see then sometime you may get in this place you know the question may ask like find the derivative of the function y and directly they will put the value of this like 4 and in the place of u they will put this value 2x square minus 3 whole square minus 3 and again in the place of u it will be 2x square minus 3 plus 5 something like this you may get it right and in the place of like you have got here 2 here but you may get here like um, a very huge quantity something like something like 100 you may get here and you may get here like uh, 30 or 50 in the power power of this 2x square 2x square minus 3 to the power 30 something like this a huge number you may get it all right so in this case what what you had done if you were not knowing the chain rule you, you might have tried to uh, expand this 2x square minus 3 here is now a square fortunately small quantity that easily you can uh, easily you can expand it but if it is power is 100 or 200 or 2000 or you can say 1 million or trillion or whatever it is right any any power it can be in such cases you cannot expand those things you know you can but it will be very very large you know so in, in such cases we have to use the chain rule so you know uh, uh, in this case you know we need to use the chain rule and what our chain rule says that if you have to find out the derivative of the function y which is a composite function with respect to x then first find out the derivative of the function y with respect to u and then find out the derivative of the function u with respect to x and you know what is u here u here is another function you know like inside the function y inside the function y another function is hidden which is u which is 2x square minus 3 so actually this y function is engulfing another small function like bigger fish is eating a smaller fish so we can we can imagine like uh, uh, like this y is a bigger fish a very bigger fish right I don't know how to make a bigger fish but imagine this y is a very bigger fig fish you know and inside the stomach of this bigger fish you have a very smaller fish that is you right bigger fish and a smaller fish try to understand like you have a bigger y fish which is your bigger function whose derivative we need to find out and inside that uh, inside the stomach of that bigger fish you have a smaller fish you something like this you know so you can say like bigger function is engulfing another smaller functions something like that all right uh, it might be a little bit uh, crazy stuff to study in that way well sorry for that uh, here so actually uh, I just want to say like y is your one function which is a composite function which is uh, engulfing other small functions so first what you have to find out you have to find out the derivative with that y function with respect to that smaller smaller face I mean that smaller function and again find out the derivative of those smaller function with respect to the base with respect to the main variable of that is smaller functions the core variable all right so same thing let's do one by one here now we are going to find out the derivative of this function y all right so here as question is saying so so here our function uh, u is 2x square minus 3 and function y is this whole 4 u square minus 3u plus 5 so now let's do derivative of this function u with respect to x you know why I'm going to find out because here see we need this du over dx that's why I'm going to find out now du over dx will be now see simple here I'm going to use the sum rule and the power rule this is a constant so 2 times 2 it will be 4 and x will have the less 1 power so it will be 4 x and minus 3 is a constant quantity right so its derivative is 0 so you'll get simply your derivative is going to be 4x all right now you should be you know perfect to find out the very simple derivative using the power rule very quickly 
right and the next time let's find out the derivative of this y so derivative of this y with respect to u you need to find out which is actually now 4 and u is the main base here u whose whose power is raised to 2 so 4 times 8 u and 2 minus 1 it will be so here is only one power minus again derivative of 3 u 3 is a constant quantity whose power and here u is the base whose power is 1 so 3 times 1 that is 3 and derivative of u is actually 1 with respect to u you are doing that's why and derivative of the 5 that's a constant quantity which is 0 so now your derivative is going to be 8 in the place of u what can what can you write yes you can write this quantity so it will be now 2x square minus 3 minus 3 actually here I bracket close and this 0 right you can elaborate further if you want but we got the derivative here so now let's combine and get the value right so derivative of the function y with respect to x is I mean to say derivative of this given function is dy over the dx times d shit sorry this is dy over du times du over dx and let's write one by one what is my dy over du yes my dy over du I have already find out here it is alright so let's write that quantity it is 8 times 2x square minus 3 again bracket close and minus 3 and let's now find out this du minus d, uh, du over dx and this du over dx is 4x so times 4x so uh, now you can, if you want then you can break it also right so uh, let's 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 write in even more formal way in more better way so first this 4x will multiply this quantity so you'll get 4x times at 8 that will be now 32x 2x square minus 3 minus now this 4x will again multiply this 3 so you'll get 12x I hope now uh, you understood let, 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 let me elaborate this more 32 times 2 that will be 64 x to the power 3 again now 32 times 3 it will be 96 x alright and then again this is minus 12 x and finally you're going to get let me put a little bit down your derivative is now going to be dy over dx is going to be 64 x cube minus now 96 and this 12 it will be uh, 108 I think uh, no uh, yes 108 108 x so this is my derivative of the given function y which is a little bit complex in looking a bigger face all right uh, I hope you understand this and we'll be doing a couple of more problem of finding derivative using the chain rule of the algebraic function and later we'll be doing for the trigonometric and logarithm and all all, all, all the functions all right and many types of the derivative we need to find out a minute practice we need to do and you know in calculus if you want to be good then there is no way only one shortcut it is but it will be very very long <laughs> that is practice do practice as much as you can you'll be the perfect all right so we'll be meeting in the next video goodbye